Hello and welcome back to the Life Skills YouTube channel. Recently, I have been going through a little bit of a book obsession. I've read five books in the past week and that is so rare for me, but I thought I'd take my newfound obsession with reading with something I've always loved, bullet journaling, put them together and make a book journal so I can remember all of the books that I'm reading in this phase. I don't know if it'll be a phase or if it'll continue. I kind of hope it continues because it's been a lot of fun, but when I go back to school, I know that I will be busy with other things and it may not continue. So I wanted to document this in my bullet journal and make a little book journal today. Starting out, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find pictures of the covers of all of the books I've read in the past week and then I'm going to print them out in black and white and watercolor them because I love watercoloring and then write little reviews on them. That's the thinking here. So let's do that. Since you came, I'm living all true. All true life with me. 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 I'm watercolor book covers, and this is reminding me why watercolor paper exists. Because look at this. This is a train wreck. Because I'm using cardstock. So nice. And down the voice inside my head. Because heaven only knows why we feel. I know I've created bigger bullet journal spreads than that and the camera's crooked right now so I'm sorry about that but I'm going to the library because I want to get more books to read because this obsession is not stopping. Days pass slowly lost it is much later from when I started this video. Today is January 17th and my reading obsession has continued but I went back to school today and I'm not sure I read a little bit but not as much I've read eight books this month which is kind of crazy and my book journal has continued so I wanted to show you the state of that you saw the first few pages I did where I had like the big covers and then I took notes for one of the books I read but then I decided to just watercolor little pictures of all of the covers here and write reviews of them and the dates that it took me to read them and my ratings. So reviews, ratings out of five, and then date. And I've been enjoying that system. I think it's nice because I've started to intertwine it with my other bullet journal spreads. So they sort of go with chronological order. And so once I have like my weekly spread and then I'll have a bullet a book or two that fit into the week so that way it's like part of the journal entry which I think is fun. You gave me hope and now there's only blood running through my veins I've never been here before. Okay so I just finished writing out my to be read list. What I did is I basically looked at the library website and I've, I've been getting book recommendations over the past few weeks. I've been putting them on a list on the library website if the library has them. And so then today I wrote them down in my bullet journal. And that's what I'll show you here. To do the book journaling, I decided to do the title in a nice cursive bubble font, which started out using pencil and then I went over it with pen later. And then I pulled up that to be read list on our library website and started writing down the books. So the list is 
The Love Wager by Lynn Painter and Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. Both of those I've put on hold at the library. Then Book Lovers by Emily Henry, which I found out I could get today. Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett, which I also found out I could get today. And then Today, Tonight, Tomorrow by Rachel Lynn Solomon. Orbiting Jupiter by Gary D. Schmidt, which I got today. The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Bonds. Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. And then two Betsy Tacey books that have names that are too long to say. But I added those to the list as well to get today. And then I decided to add some red scrapbooking paper to the end of the page to make it a little more fun. I know it's still January, but I'm full Valentine's Day in the bullet journal at this point. So decided to go for that and then also added some accents of red and pink water coloring and some pink heart stickers. Here's the finished product. I think this will last me a few weeks, but I can also add some more books to it as I get recommended them. And then now I'm going to head to the library, I think, to pick up the books and do some studying there. I don't have any classes on Fridays and the library is like a 15, 20 minute walk away. So it's kind of far, it's off campus, nothing else is out there. And so I think I'm going to take my morning off and go do that, pick up the books, return books and study there. The book I'm reading right now is The Atlas Six, and I am 116 pages in. It's 373 pages, and I'm not really getting into it. I started it, what was it, Monday of this week, and it's Friday, and I just can't get into it. It's not that interesting. Haley Pham, who I love, really likes this book. So I wanted to give it a chance, but I just can't get into it. I just looked at another review video and she couldn't get into it either. So I'm like, maybe I just don't want to read it. I think I'm going to return it today and start fresh. wrap up this video in a bit but first off I wanted to do a little book haul of the books that I got from the to be read and to be read and to be read to be read in my book journal I picked up five books at the library the first one is Orbiting Jupiter this one my roommate told me to read so we're gonna do that one and then put the review in my book journal this one's like 180 pages and it looks pretty like big font so that should be a quick one hoping to get that one done tonight. I read Orbiting Jupiter tonight in about an hour and that book was incredible so if you have not read it go read it. Then I got two that were recommended by Haley Pham. I got Book Lovers by Emily Henry which looks like a cute romance and Alex Approximately which I have no recollection of what it is. I think it's romance. And the last two are Betsy Tacey books. My friend Brooke loves the Betsy Tacey books and I like them too. It's like a coming of age series. It starts when they're in preschool or kindergarten and then ends after Betsy's in like when she's old and married. I love how the series gets older. The writing gets older with the characters. So when you're reading like the preschool and elementary school, Betsy and Tacey, that's like an elementary school book. And then these, High school books are more middle school, high school reading level. So still should be pretty easy reads, but I kind of want an easy read after the Atlas Six not enjoying it reading slump. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure of turning my reading obsession into something that fits with a hobby I already have in being creative and journaling. If you enjoyed it, you can follow us on Instagram because that's probably where you can see more up-to-date reading content. We'll stick to normal life still is making positivity out of everything over here on YouTube, though I guess that 
fits in this video too. But if you enjoyed it, you can make sure you like it, comment, subscribe. If you have book recommendations for me, please give them to me because I will be adding them to my to be read. And other than that, I will see you in our next video. Oh, life with me. Oh, life with me. Oh,